Get boosted. That's the basic message the CDC is saying today that those who are vaccinated and boosted are 21 times less likely to die from COVID-19 than those who are unvaccinated. I have not had COVID yet. James Combs is more worried about traffic right now than catching COVID. He's had the first COVID booster. If the first one helped, the second one's got to help too. He's part of the large group now, people 50 or older, and anyone who is immunocompromised, who the FDA and CDC now say can and should get a second booster. With only about a third of Californians choosing to get the first booster shot, it's a shot in the dark who will actually decide to get the second one. I don't think people will be, you know, running down to Walgreens tomorrow to be getting it. But at least for those folks who are proactive about trying to prevent sort of the worst possible outcomes, they have access to it and we don't have to wait for a spike to happen. Health experts say the 50 plus group makes sense because the first booster has shown to lose some efficacy at about six months. Today's recommendation is anyone who was boosted more than four months ago. For most cancers, we start to screen at about 50. So it seems to be that that age life starts to happen in terms of various disease conditions that come up. I don't think it's in and of itself that's an older age group, but I think for those folks that might be vulnerable because of other disease conditions, that's kind of a logical point. My gut feeling is it's an overkill. I understand, you know, it's better maybe for the elderly to get that, that second booster. For me, I'm content. Some are just finding out they're old enough to get the second booster and now will decide whether it's right for them. With big venues such as Chase Center no longer requiring vaccination proof starting Friday, health experts say can't be getting this shot in now. In the East Bay, Sharon Katsuda, NBC Bay Area News. So now